Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we have a carnival cruise ship who was basically had to avoid San Juan, Puerto Rico, a main destination in the Caribbean. We have a cruise line that's canceling sailings on one of her ships for, get this, lack of demand. We have a little bit of a party going on for celebrity cruise lines. We, we, got, we got a lot of cruise news. First off, we have the Carnival Magic was uh, decided to skip San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, at first, they started coming out and saying it was because of a failure of something to do with the shore excursions um, going on. But the tourism industry uh, and the tourism minister in San Juan quickly said, yeah, that has nothing to do with it. You, we're, not, we're not having any problems with our shore excursions or anything like that. It turns out that there is a protest going on in the port vicinity about an energy company in Puerto Rico. And there's a lot of protesters around, so Carnival decided to avoid that area. I don't know if they were trying to hide it or why they would come out with a different story that the actual story was because, hey, there's a big protest going on in the cruise port today. We're not going to that cruise port. Seems like a very valid reason not to go to that cruise port and would not concern me at all of, of, not, of canceling it. It doesn't matter if it's going to be a, you know, it's an, a non-violent protest. It's just a protest against the you know, food prices, whatever it is. Um, yeah, no, uh, I don't understand, but yeah, let's see how, it's supposed to only have been a one day protest, so I don't think this will be an ongoing situation for other cruise ships, but it just seemed odd that why come out with the other story? I, I don't understand. We also have Fred Olson Cruise Line came out with their cruise ship Balmoral. Um, it had some propeller issues and was going to cancel its next cruise. But it also decided it's going to cancel a bunch more cruises. And in fact, it's canceling a lot of cruises. And it is set to set sail now in December 21st, I believe, a Christmas cruise schedule. Um, basically due to not very many bookings on the ship. Uh, not enough to pay for the high cost of fuel that's going on right now, the labor costs on board. So they're going to take this time to do some maintenance on the ship and do some refurbishment on the ship and get it all running and everything ready to go. The other Fred Olson cruise ships are still running. In fact, they they purchased two new ships during the <laughs> during the shutdown of the pandemic. So it's not like they have financial problems or anything, but they're going, it just doesn't make sense to run a ship, say at 20% capacity with the cost of fuel and the cost of the crew to keep on board. They'd lose money every day. And you can kind of see that. So they're, they're taking a break. They, they apologize to their customers and that they hope that they will give them a chance to make it up to them in the future. It's not an easy situation for a lot of cruise lines right now, especially if you still have some, uh, you know, restrictions going on. Your smaller cruise line, you can't make up the passengers by, you know, by lowering the price and just filling your ship to capacity with ships that are hold four, five, six thousand passengers. When your ships only hold a thousand nine hundred passengers, uh, it makes it much harder because the only way to increase things is to increase the price or cut costs. And in this situation, they decided to cut the cost by, yeah, we're not going to sail. So that was an interesting one. Now I also have some good news coming from Celebrity Cruise Line, and we we got to talk about that con man. Uh, I don't know if I would have been fooled, but uh, I, I know people can be fooled pretty easy. So let's talk about him. But before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, it really does help the channel out. It really just says to YouTube, hey, people are watching videos on cruising. I'm interested in going on a cruise. I'd like to know what's going on. I also like to know about different destinations around the world and things like that. So I like watching cruising videos and YouTube goes, hey, okay, well, maybe you would like 
more cruising videos, or maybe these people would like to see some cruising videos. That's really all it does. It doesn't cost a thing, really helps the channel grow, and I'd really like really do appreciate it. Also, I want to thank everybody for some, some very nice comments about the lady that I met uh, on my Alaska cruise who came up to me. Uh, I did see a couple concerns that I was sharing somebody's story. Don't worry, I never ever publish a story like this without getting that person's permission. And she was very thrilled that I was even thinking about doing a story like this. And she said it maybe it will, uh, because it's a nice outcome right now. She's in remission and she, she, she was in stage four. That's a fantastic story um, that maybe it'll encourage others. So she was really happy that I was going to share that story. So please don't worry. I never ever talk about anybody um, unless I have their explicit permission to do so. Um, I get that out of the way. So, uh, again, sweet lady, very nice husband. Uh, we talked for over an hour, and uh, I'm I'm thrilled that they they sought me out. I really am. It, it made my whole cruise. Okay, let's talk about somebody who didn't make my whole cruise. The con man, the con man, who dressed up as a cruise ship captain and had fake ID. He made a lanyard from p and Cruise Lines that said Captain and he faked it all and he conned people not just strangers he conned family and conned friends out of like retirement savings he didn't care who he hurt he was leading a complete double life he was married to a woman and uh, engaged to a gentleman. You see, he conned everybody. He was a super con man, if you will. He's conned over $500,000 from these people by pretending that he was a cruise ship captain and collecting money and selling dreams, dream cruises, luxury, expensive cruises, that would normally cost you a hundred to three hundred thousand dollars for like thirty five to forty thousand dollars still really expensive still a lot of money but a huge savings <laughs> and uh yeah well he was caught and he was charged and he was running up gambling debts he was running up payday loan debts and all under this persona of being a luxury cruise ship captain. <laughs> uh, he's, he's spending six years in jail. Um, let's hope he spends all six years in jail because he literally destroyed some people's retirement and uh, livelihoods and things like that. But I just wanted to share that because it's kind of like a warning for everybody out there to uh, be careful who you give money to. It's one thing to give money to an agent who is going to put down $200 on a deposit and you're going to get your receipt from a cruise line. So like for instance, when somebody books uh, through myself uh, for a group cruise, uh, I make the booking through the cruise line. I don't handle any money whatsoever. You will never get a receipt from Dawn or Dawn's Family Vacation or Cruising with Dawn. It'll always come from the cruise line we're sailing from and they handle all the money. But if you remember not too long ago, there was uh, some YouTubers out there who were quite well known in the cruising industry. I was someone, they were someone I followed at the time and they started, one of them would booked excursions for people, a gr big group excursion. And then when it was time to go on the group, ex they collected all the money and all this, people paid for it. And then when it was time for the group excursion, they said, oh, the, the shore excursion people canceled it and uh, they'll return me the money and then I'll return it to you. They never even booked the shore excursion. They never even talked to the shore excursion people. They just took the money. So that's just a, a heads up warning. When people start asking you to give them money directly to them, that's a, a, a red flag. Now, there are lots of companies out there 
that you pay them because they'll book a whole book of rooms or they'll whole, oh, they'll book a whole bunch of things and they've been established a long time. But if you don't know them and you've never dealt with them, uh, make sure they are who they say they are. Find out from the Better Business Bureau, contact information, uh, get phone numbers, get emails, get legitimate you know, to something in writing. Don't just assume uh, because we have a nice smile and a friendly face on YouTube that we're nice people. Because some people are out to get other people. And I hate to say that, but it's true in every aspect of the world, right? How many people pop up on your advertising that is saying, hey, uh, uh, invest in this or join this or buy this because uh, it'll make you money. It'll make you money. It'll make you rich. I don't know anyone who's ever gotten rich <laughs> doing those things. So just a word of warning, if a cruise ship captain can be faked, uh, almost anything out there can be faked as well. Now enough of that bad news, let's talk about some good news. Celebrity has laid the coin celebration. They had their little coin celebration. It's a tradition in cruising that you embed a cr coin in a cruise ship in the keel. So for good luck, uh, good wishes for the, for the ship to sail long and prosper and may she always have wind at her back is the old saying. Well, uh, Celebrity did it for her fourth edge class ship, the Ascent, Celebrity Ascent. And I started worrying about that because I said, oh, the, As the Ascent, because I try I tried to put in my name for the fifth edge, sit, sit, edge class ship. And they have the Ascent, but I have Transcendence, which I think is one step above Ascent. So I think I'm still in the running. <laughs> But they're a good congratulations, Celebrity, the fourth ship out there on the edge, and the fifth one uh, will be being made shortly. It is one of my favorite class in the Celebrity line. I will say that for sure. Um, I really do enjoy the theater there. I enjoy the dining on the Celebrity. And the Celebrity suite class, the way they've been doing it, is second to none out there. It really is a step above uh, many of the other cruise lines out there. I really do appreciate their their sweet class. Can't afford to stay there very often, but when I do, I always have a really good experience. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.